Well, I got a new list of grants. <laughs> These are all new grants too that I just uh, found in the last couple of days. So, I mean, you may have heard me earlier. I, I was on a live stream uh, a couple hours ago and really telling you, talking to people about how how to get the best help in help for grants, particularly with us, because we have uh, so many people coming on board now and, and I'm afraid we're losing them if we don't take care of them correctly. And so I'm looking really to add to their patience on how we work and to understand how we work and how we could help you the best. Because what you get with us is just 24 seven, ask us as many personal questions about getting grants as you possibly can. And we just can't answer them in three minutes. Like, <laughs> like if you're paying $5,000, so it's only $5, I mean $20 a month. And you can ask as many as you want and all the reports we give you for free. And don't forget if you, if you don't like us, and just just say you want a refund. That's okay. Uh, I just want to enter, educate as many people as I can before I die about all this stuff that's out there. Uh, it may not be as easy as you like to get it, and some things are easy, but other things may take rolling up your sleeves, and that's what we help with, and, and that's what all the staff does and uh, in a loving way, and that's what I'm really interested in now is, is showing how we could love each other so um, we don't, uh, you know what I mean. <laughs> all I know is that at my age, the more I love, the more my heart grows. And that's sort of the nicest thing uh, to happen in life. And we don't value that as much for some reason. We always want to pile up money in the basement or something like Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> so let me get on to today's grants for 2011. Actually, I, was, I just came back after two days. Uh, with a new grandchild we have. They live about two hours away. Up in the woods, they're woods people. <laughs> they're out of this crazy, uh, crazy uh, urban life here. And, and it's really, and actually the cost of living is just a fraction of what it costs. I mean, it's real good, particularly if you're a, um, a digital nomad and can make money on the internet, which you can, and that's what we help people do too. Uh, but let me get into these grants right away. And, and remember, I'm gonna put the list, all the links that I talk about are gonna be in the description below, wherever you're watching this, on YouTube or uh, Instagram, uh, and of course on our, our web uh, and our, our our membership site, which is uh, Let's Go Help Too. So all the links are there. Uh, and I'll put them out there. Actually, I'll put them on Let's Go Help Too now. So I don't forget, because I have to put them on the other ones uh, after I finish. So I have to close the thing and then uh, put all the links on there uh, after we're closed. So come back, you know, 20 minutes after the thing is over and it should be there. If I forget, I'll do it in the morning. <laughs> Send me a lot of nasty notes uh, so I don't forget. I've been learning a lot. Oh, wonderful. Uh, there, uh, really appreciate you. And, and well, I mean, that's what I want to do to everybody is hope that I teach them a lot or they can learn a lot from me. And again, if you don't think you got your money's worth, that's okay. We'll give you the money no matter what it is. And make sure you take two reports with you. One is called the Lesco Meta Report. Um, and, and, uh, I'm trying to think maybe I could get that in. Well, maybe I'll do that later for the Let's Go Help members. Uh, and the other one is your 500 mini grant report that shows you 500 grants in your state for any area of interest, whether it's paying your debt off or uh, getting out of debt, paying your bills, or starting a business or housing or healthcare, anything I show you just for your state. Now this is gold to me, but I'm biased, so you can't trust me. Anybody selling you anything, that means everybody on the internet, <laughs> you can't trust them. And that's why the rule of thumb uh, to eliminate uh, as much as that as possible, uh, because you can't eliminate a hundred percent. I'd say 99% or 95% is by only, if you don't know the subject very well, is you only use gov, uh, websites that are either .gov, G-O-V, or .org, O-R-G. And they're the people that help people for free. They already got money. They don't have to get money from you. Uh, so you're safe. Okay. Uh, anybody in, in there, in Google, are all trying to make money because they gotta pay Google. <laughs> so they gotta get money from you. And, and advertising, no matter how much uh, you say, it's really uh, can't be clear enough. And, and that's why I like 
uh, giving a lot for free so people have an understanding of, of what's involved and, and what's going on. Because this is your country. This, these are all your programs. They're not mine. I have nothing to do with them. I just tell you what's out there you know, and point you in the right direction uh, to start applying. Because who the people get the most out of this are the rich people. They know how to use the system, man. <laughs> I mean, and, I, and that's how I started learning. They taught me about it because I was hungry and wanted to get paid. Uh, so I'd find anything for them. And I thought, boy, what I was doing was helping millionaires become billionaires with government programs. So I had enough of that. <laughs> so now I, <laughs> that's why I only charge $20. So let's get into it. Okay. Here's a, a, a program. It's called the Federal Home Loan Bank Board. Um, Federal Home Loan Banks and their website, and all the links will be in the description below, uh, fhlbanks.com. Now, it's a .com, but this is a government subsidized uh, service. And they're really a bank of bankers, and uh, uh, they give grants, too, because they're subsidized by the government. Now, what they're doing is they have a program, um, and there's six of these regional banks all over that work with banks in their region. So they're like a brokerage with government money and all kind of investment money that they give to other banks. So you have to go to them to find out what banks have this program. And this program is now, they have uh, like two or three programs that give up to $20,000 uh, a grant to help you buy a home. $20,000, now that's a big down payment chunk you know, uh, for a lot of people. So that's, but they also help you with business uh, and it's different in every area and every regional has it different, but a lot of them have grants. Uh, a lot of them have grants for investors that want to be, you want to be a real estate investor, you always talk about, well, this is one of the places uh, you, you, you got to know about. Uh, and so that's um, the bank. It, it, now this is the Pittsburgh area bank. Now that's an area, the, the Home Loan Bank more for Pittsburgh area. They're the programs I'm talking about. All the other five or six or whatever they are have separate like this, but they're probably a little different. So you got to check where you are and the Home Loan Bank Board, Federal Home Loan Bank, where you, in your area and see what their programs are. Then they will get you to a local bank that has that grant. See, now this is the first time that banks will give grants if the government's giving it to them. <laughs> Otherwise, you never get a grant. So that's one, that's $20,000 there. Here's another very interesting thing. There is a, a program that Biden came out with called the, maybe it was before Biden, I don't know, I forget. Uh, the State Small Business Credit Initiative. Write that down, that's very important. There's a whole new ton of money for entrepreneurs. State Small Business Credit Initiative. Now I'll have it there, it's from the Treasury Department that gives money to every state to encourage un, um, low income businesses, uh, new business startups, that are low income and, and trying to get money out there. Now here's one, one place that's doing it is, I think this is in, uh, in uh, uh, Arkansas. They're, they're giving money, listen to this, they have $2 million to take very small businesses, not just small business, because a small business grew up with 400 people, <laughs> according to the SBA anyway, but they're taking very small businesses, a couple of people working in their garage or you in your bedroom or something like that. And what they have money for is to not help you start and grow and everything, but they're going to give you mentoring for five years. That's right, five years. So they're gonna make sure you grow that goddamn business no matter what. They're not letting you out of their sight. Now that is something amazing. Now this is all free. And remember, this is all free. <laughs> and these people have been doing it for a long time. So these are professionals. These are nonprofit organizations that manage this money. The government gives the money to nonprofit organizations locally to help them do that. So you're getting money to start your business and you're getting the mentoring help for five, five years. Not a, you know, a, a 30 minute call and you're gone. Bim, bam, thank you, ma'am. <laughs> no, they want to make sure you start it. Uh, and, and that's what's important, that you know of programs like this, okay? So that's it. I, I have the list here for that program, doing that, and then at the Department of Treasury, so you understand what the program is. Every state has it, and to find out uh, what, you're, what is in your state, a good place to start. Actually, all your elected officials are always good, particularly on the national level. Uh, but, but Or you go to sba.gov, 
and then slash local assistance to start finding local organizations like this one that I'm talking about in Arkansas, because things like this are happening all over the country. It's not only in Arkansas. I mean, it's like so many uh, people on YouTube say, oh, why don't you cover Omaha or <laughs> Kansas or whatever it is. I'm showing you an example. Then you have to do the work to find out what kind of things like this are where you live. That's what it's all about. So that's two million there. Okay. Uh, uh, Okay, here's uh, uh, $367 million uh, that they just passed in Oregon for new housing. So this is an opportunity. Not only that, I put this in. Uh, a lot of you probably won't do this unless you want to be a real estate investor. So now you know you live in Oregon. Uh, they have almost a half a billion dollars that are going to be available for you to build houses for people, particularly low and moderate income people. And that's what it is. So if you want to be an investor like that, or in addition, you're looking for a, 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 a deal on a house. This is going to be a deal on the house, right? Because the government's subsidizing this whole thing. It's not some, uh, you know, developer saying, ah, oh, you know, I raised money and everybody has to make profit. No. The government's not going to make profit. They're putting in a half a billion dollars not to make a profit, but to get you housing for free or cheaper, you know, if not for free. And that's what uh, the government is all about, is giving you a cheaper alternative than you'll find in Google. So you have to know about things like this coming on in your area. How do you do that? Keep your nose to the ground, get on the mailing list of elected officials because they love bragging about things they're doing for voters. <laughs> See, they want to brag to voters all the work they're doing to get money to you so you vote for them. And that's why uh, they're, they're your ticket to a lot of places. Um, and, and they're all different, so you can't guarantee anything, okay? Uh, so that's, boy, a lot of housing money there. Now, th this is interesting that their advertisement I saw in, in a county in South Carolina, uh, they're giving free rides to work or to daycare. <laughs> you know why? Uh, because people, transportation is so important, particularly you know, if you don't live in an urban environment like I do. I walk to everywhere. I hardly use some transportation. And, and, uh, uh, but need a car to get there. You need, and particularly if it's for work, job training, or getting kids to daycare so you can get to work, okay? So they're giving free transportation. See, there's things like this going on everywhere. So you're sitting there, your car's broke, you don't know what the hell to do, and you can't get anywhere. Ah! <laughs> See, the, the government tries to figure these things out so they can help with that. And you don't know what they're doing. I don't know what they're doing. But there's ways to find out. Okay, a way to find out. Okay, what kind of transportation uh, is uh, like this is available where you live? Aha! Uh -huh. my, one of my favorite places is... Uh, findhelp.org, okay, findhelp.org. You go there and like in my area, I put in transportation and I have 20 nonprofit organizations that give free transportation or help you pay for transportation, you know, uh, bus passes or, or money to pay, get your car out of hock or, or whatever it is to make sure you get transportation to get to work and be a, a contributing taxpayer. <laughs> that means you have a job and a work and take care of your kids, okay? Uh, and then, then I put Tampa in there. There's 17 in Tampa. So I live in uh, Metro Washington, D.C., so that's a big one. Tampa's a little smaller. Still 17. I mean, that's a... And, and also money to buy cars could be in this thing, too. So money to fix up cars. That's a lot of time that's in, in, in this keyword. Uh, here's an interesting thing I found. New York needs firemen volunteer firemen, particularly in low, uh, uh, small towns and things like this. Now they're giving you $2,500, 2,000, I mean, 1,000, uh, not 2,500, 1,250 dollars to train to be a volunteer fireman. Okay. Now that's pretty cool. I mean, if you're young and athletic and actually I just read another article somewhere that being a fireman is the most you know, the sturdiest job we have, man. You're really, you're into building muscles and confidence and everything. Man, go, get out there and be a fireman and they'll pay you to be there. And this is a volunteer, so uh, it, it's sort of neat. Uh, so that's it. Now here's another interesting thing is uh, people are getting, uh, it's, there's pet food pantries. 
You know how we have pet, we have pantries for people who are uh, uh, need food around the country. Well, pet food. We have pet food pantries too now. <laughs> so you could go to local pet food pantry uh, to get food. And so the article here tells you about how the growing demand in pet, pet food is expensive. Taking care of pets is expensive. You have a veterinarian bill. That's expensive and all that. So here's how to get grants for all your pet help problems <laughs> because you got to pay those bills. Okay. Again, you go to uh, findhelp.org and, and you put in pets and you'll have uh, pet food pantries. You have, uh, uh, you know, getting spayed and neutered for free or uh, veterinarian help for free. And there's a good listing here. Uh, uh, it's called, oh, oh, and Tammy put up a thing about pet care. Yeah, that's our report on pet care. Uh, and that's great, Tammy. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, oh, the Humane Society. Humanesociety.org has a great listing of how to find money for all your pet expenses that you can't pay, okay? So that's Humanesociety.org, okay? And then you put slash resources and then slash are you having trouble affording your pet? <laughs> Actually, maybe easier if you just go to Google and put uh, humanesociety.org. Are you having trouble affording your pet? Okay. Are you having trouble arf, arf, affording your pet? <laughs> and you put that in. And, and it's a terrific collection you know, of sources, and you'll see there's probably 50 or so. And the report that Tammy just put up, we, we have hundreds of these places uh, where you could get it. Now, how to cut things like, you know, the veterinarian, uh, you know, you have medical practices where people go to the uh, to school to study to be a veterinarian. They treat people, uh, pets for free. So there's one in probably every state, and that's a great place too, but there's other things. There's nonprofit organizations, there's a lot of people. There's a lot of GoFundMe just set up for pets, so you have other pet uh, lovers, you know, helping you pay that bill, uh, and, and that's important. What else, oh, here's another thing. Uh, uh, I heard a report the other day, cities that have more pets than they do children. <laughs> <laughs> cities with more pets than children. This is what's happening. I think what's happening uh, is that, you know, younger people particularly, I mean, like I have a building here, uh, half the building has a pet in it. You know, and they're a lot of single or married. They, you know, not, it's only like one bedroom apartment is the biggest thing here. So there's not a whole, whole lot of families. Uh, but urban is like that. So a lot of cities are like that where people can't afford children anymore because it, it costs so much. Um, and they have a pet, something to love. We all want to love. See, that's what I'm trying to get. Let's go help. It's it. Let's go help for lovers. <laughs> and that's it. So remember, if you're dealing with us, uh, we're going to give you everything you want. Now, we can't give you a grant. Well, actually, we give our own grants, but can't guarantee you get a grant. You know, nobody can guarantee you get a grant, okay, except the people giving you money. And we can't even give you a guarantee. We'll give you one of our grants because it, it's... Uh, um, you know, we, we have thousands of people and we give out, um, I don't know, 500, 600 grants a day. Uh, I, I don't know, I forget already. <laughs> We're growing so much and it's nice. Uh, but it's the help. I mean, and, and the help really when you can't get things, that's when you need help. That's what I want to make sure, you know, that you realize you come back, you try something that we give you and it doesn't work. You got to come back and ask again. That doesn't work. You got to come back and ask again. I mean, it, it is like learning to walk. This is something you haven't done before. And so, like when you learn to walk, I mean, I watch my, uh, we have two young grandchildren, one in each of the boys that are just learning to walk again. And you walk them and you see them get up on uh, shaky little legs and fall on their ass. And, and they keep doing that. And that's how they learn to walk. And, and the problem is when you're a grown up, you want to just be like a horse and just get up and gallop away. <laughs> but, but not, you're, you're a human. <laughs> and you got to learn how to do that. Trial and error, falling on your butt. It may be easy and you may do it easy. But if you don't, you just can't give up. You know, and, and that's the most important thing. I got to uh, get a, somebody said there, 
one of my <laughs> cameras here. There, say, hey, let's go. You better put the juice on. Okay. So I put on the juice. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, and, and so that's it. That's why we want to be here when you ha don't have a, uh, you can't get an answer and then stop. I mean, there's so many ways. I mean, you people, uh, we have a, uh, on Facebook, you could ask us, and when you ask a question on Facebook, you don't see it there because you'll see it after we answer it, okay? And that usually takes a day or so to do it. On, on Let's Go Help 2, which is where I'm uh, broadcasting now, uh, I don't on Facebook, but I guess I should, uh, is that we have something called the Let's Go, uh, the Question Corner. <laughs> and that's where you put uh, your question in. And just, just do it every hour if it has to. You know, after you get an answer and you follow that, and that doesn't make sense, you don't know what the hell you're talking about, that's okay, we're all stupid. You know, <laughs> that's all right. And this is new, and we don't want you to feel that you're stupid. No, because it may take some effort. Uh, and we're not good at making it so easy. I don't know. I've been studying this for 50 years almost, and and it's because the government is so complicated. If if we started the government today, then we could put all the grants where they should be. But it isn't. It's laid on top of each other, and then you know these, you know, some of these grants are you know fifty years old or more, you know, and then some are four days old, you know, and some are coming tomorrow, and they all say, "Oh, why don't we do this?" Oh, this sounds like a good place to do it. We'll do it from here. You know, it makes no sense. That, you know, when you're looking at it, but it makes sense. When you're looking at the easiest way to do something, uh, and, and in fortune, not fortune, we have to uh, live with the government we have, not the government we wish we had. <laughs> so if you want these grants, you have to live with the government we do have, not the one we wish they, we had, okay? Uh, here's another interesting thing that uh, the government is spending advertising money, which it rarely does, and it's spending it to advertise seniors are not taking advantage of a free healthcare option for seniors. Uh, and so they're actually spending, I mean, that's amazing to me, they're spending that much money, uh, like $10 million uh, for people uh, to make sure they know about that free healthcare, uh, that for older Americans, uh, a statement of assistance for the uh, on the way for low-income older Americans. So it's all the seniors that are of low income are going to get a lot more health care available. Now, there's something called, let me see if I can get that. I wanted to have it in here. SHIP, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, SHIP Health, S-H-I-P-H-E-L-P, okay? Uh, if you're a senior and need information about uh, this new program or anything else, you go to, uh, uh, yeah, S-H-I-P-H-E-L-P dot org. Okay, S-H-I-P-H-E-L-P dot org, and you put in your state, and you'll find free experts that help you through this process. And remember, they're not going to sell you anything. The problem a lot of time with, with uh, uh, Obamacare or... Uh, 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 healthcare.gov is that a lot of the companies are in there and they're going to just sell you the shit that they want to sell you. <laughs> it's hard to get an unbiased overview of what you should really do. And the only way you do that is talking to not people selling you something, but other government experts that know about this stuff or nonprofit organizations uh, that know about this stuff. And they're the people you want to talk to. So stay away from anybody with a dot com or, <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying they're all bad or anything, but what the hell, you, you can't <laughs> I trust it because you're not well enough, you're not, uh, they're just too good, you know, they're too good at selling, and, and so you don't stand a chance, so gotcha. <laughs> Here's the people that get you too, uh, uh, TurboTax and H&R Block, okay, uh, they just decided, this year, when you, if you're using them, they have a chat box, okay? They have a chat box, uh, and they're giving answers to tax problems uh, on a chat box. Here's a story that was in the Washington Post today. <laughs> and here's what it says. TurboTax and h and Block now use AI for tax advice, okay? It's awful. <laughs> it's awful. I mean, I think 
H&R Block and uh, TurboTax are awful because they're, they're telling you you need them and you don't to fill out any kind of tax, but that's another issue. This is that, uh, so this is, you know, don't trust me on this article because I'm biased about them. <laughs> uh, so you, you, you might get some more information yourself besides me. But they get a study, they've called them up, but it's a big, long article. And when you ask the chat a question, uh, you get 50% of the time on TurboTax, you get the wrong answer. <laughs> <laughs> so they're going to send you to jail faster than you think you would ever send you to jail. 50% wrong, okay? And H&R Block was 30% wrong, yeah? So wow, yeah. So that's why the people that, uh, there's too many good sources for free, you know? And you may have to wait, in taxis, you got to wait at H&R Block anyway, but you got to wait to pay them $400 or $300 that you didn't have to. <laughs> but again, I'm biased, so don't trust me. Go out and get your own information. And, uh, but here, I have an art, I put all these links here in the bottom uh, on how not to use them. Um, and, and it shows you, uh, because actually, TurboTax were scamming people uh, up the yin yang, and, and they worked the deal out with the IRS that they would help them uh, do some taxes for do taxes for free for people as long as the IRS didn't do it. Well, what uh, TurboTax got around that and started doing charging people for that and, and getting it it's just through marketing gimmicks and everything and not getting it to pay. I mean, I think it's just a pity that we have to pay taxes to give money to the government to pay somebody to figure that out. So if you're willing to uh, learn a system where you don't, I have all the links in the bottom, uh, and it shows you about the government now is even giving free to like uh, 13 states now. Uh, they'll the IRS will uh, uh, online fill out all your taxes for free in both federal and state. Now also I have places where you can get free appointments from IRS uh, experts on filling out taxes, uh, and you can make an appointment at a local office or online or whatever it is, and it's all online, you can fill out, I have all the websites in, in the description below. Uh, also, uh, who to contact at the IRS if you have trouble paying your taxes. And, and uh, there's two ways, if you're in financial trouble or you owe too much money back paid and can't pay that. Uh, we have a member who, who the delightful young lady, who got owed $50,000 and got it down through to $10,000. Now she was talking to all kinds of accountants that wanted to do it for her, charge $5,000 or whatever. No, that would be $5,000 less she, she would have gotten. And she just did it with herself and did it all and got 90% uh, given out. So I have all these links and to get fr other free tax help. See, at every tax section, there's a lot of nonprofit organizations that will do your taxes for free locally. To find those, you go to 211.org or findhelp.org. And just put in taxes, and usually it's, you know, at this time of year, it, it's on their front page, because they know a lot of people have to do that. And, you know, the library will know about that stuff too. Um, so all these links that I talked about will be in the description below. Uh, let's help some people here. Let's see what we got here. Oh, where'd you go? Oh, I see. Ah. Uh, where do you go? <laughs> ah, okay, here you go. Okay, uh, Julia, uh, live, went office for me as well. Went offline for me. Oh, I see. Yeah, I, I, I took something else and I guess, uh, blah, 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 blah. okay, where else? Uh, I'm going to get free service for taxes this year. Uh, I like the lady that does my taxes, but I'm going to say, yes, I you know. Again, I mean, that's a personal thing. I, I can't tell other people, how to live their lives. I don't even know how to live my own life. So don't trust me. I could just tell you about stuff I know that can maybe help. I always need a human to verify information or, or tap into, yes. Uh, is that the same place to find assistance to help seniors to pay their medication? They can help with that. But a best way, Laurel, you know, besides the, the, uh, the SHIP help, that's for uh, healthcare and medications they would be, 
but it's mostly Medicare. Uh, but the other place to pay for uh, prescriptions, I'm going to put it in the chat here uh, on Let's Go Help Too. Uh, you want to go to needy, N-E-E-D-Y, meds, M-E-D-S dot org. They have a whole prescription thing and people uh, to get the grants for prescription. They show you people that will fill out the forms for you for free and everything. So it's a wonderful source for anything with men. They'll show you free clinics. For uh, I don't think they have vets, though, veterinary clinics. They're mostly people, free dental, free and low-cost dental and stuff like that. So that's, we'll cover that. Let's see, where is, where, who else we got here? Uh, Marcia, do we have free service taxes? Okay. Uh, like that is that the place where we find assistance receive pay medication no charity i asked the company that's representing me uh at my asset administration lodge charity uh, this month if they could re reach out to my district corporate and she didn't know who or what i was talking see that's just so stupid. why wouldn't they want to help well because they want to charge more if they because you're <laughs> yeah i mean we're, particularly professionals like that i mean see they they could charge higher prices if they um if they make it all a lot of secret <laughs> why wouldn't they want to help me especially i requested that i can't talk to anyone since i've got representation uh oh i see well you could talk to your elected official and and, and actually to me if they don't get what you need uh i would take i would document this and, and use it as a uh an argument to to, to uh tell see they're regulated lawyers are and they hate to have letters bad about them <laughs> in the people that regulate because that could put them out of business so document this now while you're thinking of it so you may have to use it if they screw you up later okay uh but still, call your representative. He can talk to you. But they may they can't represent you at the hearing or whatever it is. I guess that's it. But for help and things like that. And find another person that doesn't charge to to help you review what this one is doing. You know what I mean, Charity? Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Because there's a lot of nonprofits that do that. Uh, okay. Uh, are there grants to create nonprofits to create grants? Yes. Uh, and uh, we have uh, a report on starting a nonprofit. Maybe um, it's in the Meta Grant Report. Let me see if I can find that easy. I got so many goddamn tabs open. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at all the tabs I got open. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. No. Not that one. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Maybe that one? Yes, maybe. Yes, we're a tabby. Okay. Yeah, the Metagram Report uh, has a thing about starting uh, a nonprofit and you get all free help. Don't become a nonprofit before you talk to free help to become a nonprofit. Uh, so look at, at this in there first. Let's see where. Uh, Ba, 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 ba. Is that share maybe? Yeah, share, like Sunny and Share, right? <laughs> Copy link. Okay, now we gotta find you again. I find you, okay. Here here is the uh, Metagram report, okay? And go down and and it lists two places, one in number five on how to start a nonprofit or business or anything. And then later on I think we talk about uh this again, and it's down there. So there's two places uh, to look for that. And I'll send you that. Okay, Tammy. Oh, there's a 10 ways to get grants for you now. Oh, there, Tammy. See, she's always at me, man. See, I'm getting old. I can't keep up with Tammy anymore, damn it. <laughs> I, was, uh, I have a live schedule. 10 minutes. Okay, let, let uh, Sabrina take care of you, okay? Guys, she's gonna be live in 10 minutes. So you want to go and get another soda or coffee or uh, an eclair or whatever. <laughs> yeah, like getting a second opinion, Morgan. Uh, that's exactly it, Megan. Uh, and what else? Uh, did you get what I sent to that, uh, your nonprofit, Megan? Uh, 
Uh, if, if you didn't, let me know, because maybe I sent it to the wrong place. Uh, okay. I'm going to say adios, and you guys have fun with Sabrina. She'll hold your hand and take you through this stuff. And I guess Charity may be there, too. And who else is going to be there? Tammy. Good. See you guys. Love you. Thanks.